Welcome to this next episode of YouTube, where we thought I'd give you a little ethology quiz. And again, ethology is the study of behavior, and we have identified 10 behaviors that are in this video sequence. Uh, there's a lot more behaviors in this, but 10 that we thought that would be easy for you to identify. Uh, the first is rest on side, and then we have an escape, ambush, inguinal presentation, a T3.5 tail, a T1 tail, a cache, a food defense, a face-off, and an RLU. If you want to play along in the quiz, write down the 10 behaviors, watch your monitor, and write down the minute and second when you believe that particular behavior occurred, and we'll test you at the end.
I did have a question about Oscar that uh, I thought I would address. And Oscar, again, was a uh, dog that we had adopted that brought in to uh, help Grizzer kind of through the transition of being alone. Oscar was an extremely confident dog, uh, did really well for Grizzer and was real good stimulus for Grizzer. Uh, but one of our staff members had, uh, who had been the primary caretaker for Oscar had uh, taken another position. And so it was in Oscar's best interest to go with that primary caretaker. So. What we have now is Tina. Tina is one of my dogs, and Tina is not quite up to Oscar's standards. Uh, she's very timid, which um, was completely different than Oscar. Oscar was kind of very socially engaging, very confident, and that got the wolves uh, very socially active. Tim Tina's a little more timid, and, and, and that's a different stimulus for the wolves. And so we're kind of working on trying to get Tina a little more confidence. Grizzer does like to watch her and will often uh, lay next to fence kind of watching her and keeping an eye on what she's up to. But uh, that's our primary concern is that Grizzer has good stimulus. We'll leave you with some howling clips from Shadow, Malik, and the rest of the pack. And then I'll uh, give you the answers to the Ethology quiz. Last week we did have the Ethology class here, and it is very challenging to keep up with an active pack. So I thought I would identify the behavior and give you the time on the video when that behavior occurred, and then show you the little clip to be able to identify it. The rest on side was Luna, and that occurred at 58 seconds into the video. She comes out of the den, flops on her right side. That's her, her side with her leg injury, so she has no... Uh, uh, issues of rolling on on the side that where she had a previous injury. The escape from Denali occurred at 1 minute 29 seconds into the video. Actually lasted for quite a while. Uh, Luna was kind of picking on him a bit so he went and took uh, escaped into the den. And then again Luna in an ambush at 1 minute 32 seconds. Bolts showing an inguinal presentation and that was at 2 minutes. And an inguinal presentation is presenting yourself more dominant animals to sniff. The T three and a half tail is a tail that is down low below the back but touching the haunches and so it's a, a little bit of intimidation at two minutes 54 seconds you would have seen Luna demonstrate that. She was back to a T1 which is a tail that is over the back and actually everybody here has a T1 um, except Denali. And then the caching video was at 4 minutes 39 seconds. That was Malik. Actually, it went on for a while. He tried to cache a fairly large piece of bone dust, and then he went to a smaller piece of bone dust. Then he got into some food defense at 6 minutes. Uh, Shadow had approached that uh, pile of beef, and 
uh, Malik charged and gave him a lip curl and postured a little bit around him and Shadow walked off of the food and that led later to a face off at 6 minutes and 12 seconds where again Shadow is facing off Malik still a little bit of that food defense and Grizzer ends with an RLU at 6 minutes 49 seconds so these are the things that we code as far as behaviors uh, they help us tell how the wolves are interacting who's having issues if there's any medical conditions but it's a great way to watch the wolves so thanks again we'll see you next week